All right. Hello, everyone. We're back. All right. So for this episode, we are going to be doing bars. Now, I love dessert bars. Everybody loves the dessert bars. They're easy and they're perfect for my amateurs. So today we're going to be doing raspberry crumble bars. And we're also going to be doing the very popular lemon bar. So let's go in and get started. So already we have our raspberries right over here. They're draining. Now these are frozen raspberries, which are, they're already thawed. And you're gonna want these completely drained because you don't want your raspberry bars to not set up. If they're not completely drained, they won't set up properly and you'll be annoyed because they are not cheap. So we're gonna be using frozen raspberries. You can also use fresh, but it's way more expensive. I suggest frozen. But you know, as long as they're fully drained, you're good to go. All right, while those are draining, we're gonna go on and start by making our delicious crust, which includes oatmeal, flour, brown sugar, and butter. All right, now go on and get going. So just doing a dump job? Yeah, this is a dump job, guys. It's super duper easy, which is one of the things that makes this a, um, a really great thing to make if you're a beginner. Um, so you're gonna dump everything in there, perfect. And that is a little baking powder. You got a little salt as well. All right, so go on and put all of that in there for me. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on our stand mixer, which by now you should invest in if you haven't and get them pretty reasonably priced, guys. We don't need the butter right we now. We do need the butter right now. See, that's why I have my husband doing it because he's our amateur and he's figuring it all out. All right, so we're gonna pop that in there. Perfect, thank you, Joe. It's looking good already. All right. Looking good. And so the way this is all gonna work is we're gonna put a portion of this on the bottom of our pan. This is a quarter sheet baking pan. So you can get these pretty much from anywhere. So wherever, you know, fill in the blank, you can get one of these, they're very inexpensive. And while Joe is doing that, you can keep that going. Joe is gonna go in and prepare this pan. We're just gonna use a little bit of spray oil in the pan. We're gonna spray all around their circumference. You're gonna make sure that you use, now I have dry wax paper sheets. This is what we have at the shop. I have a ton of these. But you, you're gonna use parchment paper, not wax paper. Do not do wax paper. Wax paper, the wax will melt and you'll smell that odor and you won't know what the heck is going on. So use a dry sheet of paper. Before you do this, which he's not supposed to do, he's gonna spray the whole thing. And then we're gonna put this back in and we're gonna spray this as well. So spray liberally, spray that side too. You don't want your stuff sticking. And then we're gonna pop this in and go like that. Make sure it's as even as possible. And then you're gonna spray that as well. Perfect, that's perfect. So we're done with that part. I'm gonna put that over there and I think we're good to go. Scrape sides down? You do not need to scrape the sides down, guys, because this is just a crumble. So none of that is necessary. So, but you can take a look. You can use your scraper and dig up at the bottom and make sure everything is incorporated with that butter. Um, you wanna make sure everything is good to go and it looks pretty good. That looks nice, the oatmeal looks good. Everything looks like it came together as a nice, it almost looks like a shortbread crust except with oatmeal. It's very, very similar. So that looks good. All right guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put roughly mm, about half of that on the bottom. We're gonna put roughly half of that on the bottom. Just remember you'll be able to click on our link and go to our recipes at the end of each show and you'll be able to look at that complete recipe and you'll be able to follow it step by step. So that's looking good. Now, generally speaking, we do use a scale for everything. I'm a stickler for a scale. You'll hear me say that throughout all of my episodes. Invest in a little expensive scale, super useful, and then also you can make sure all of your product is seamless and it all comes out perfectly because you know you're using that scale. That looks, that looks like plenty. So now what we're gonna do is, Joe is gonna take his spatula and he's gonna press that down at the bottom of that pan and you're gonna press it firmly. So once he spreads it out, he's gonna press it down. There we go. Perfect. Press that please. And you want it even, looking good. Looks good. Press that into those corners. And that looks delicious already. All right, so perfect. You don't want divots in it. So make sure it's smooth when you do this. You don't want a bunch of divots at the bottom. You want a nice smooth look and that way everything is even and your crust looks good at the bottom. All right, that looks pretty decent. Make sure it's smoothing out down there. There we go. 
pack it down. Because remember, this is a bar, so you want this packed at the bottom. And I'm gonna have Joe hold this up so you can sort of get a good idea of how it's supposed to look. But you do not want it loose and crumbling, okay? That's not the, the right look. That's gonna be on top. It's gonna be sort of loose, but not at the bottom. How does that look? That looks pretty good. All right, you see that, guys? Looks good. All right, we're gonna be moving on to our next step, which is making our raspberry filling for this. Don't we have to put this in the oven for a little bit? We are, so we're gonna be putting this in the oven. Good point, Joseph. See, he's good, he's learning, guys. He's learning, he's getting it. So we're gonna put this in the oven that is at 350 degrees for 10 minutes, guys. And that's what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna go on and move on to our filling. And then here is our raspberries. But guys, don't make the mistake I did. Um, these raspberries, if you, you can put them in a colander to drain. That's perfectly fine. But you do not want to squeeze them through because as you see, these holes are really big. I made an amateur move, guys. Um, and the uh, delicious raspberries were squeezing out of the bottom. So just use some cheesecloth or, a, you know, sort of like one of those little hand sifters. You can squeeze it through there and it should work perfectly. But this is good to go. All right, Joe, and if you want to move forward, we're going to go on and put our raspberries in there. Should be really good. And you wanna make sure they're good and drained, guys. You do not want these super juicy. That's not a good thing. We're gonna do our sugar. There we go, perfect. We're gonna do our lemon juice. That's our lemon juice. We're gonna do some flour. And we're also gonna do some, it is cornstarch, guys. All right, perfect. We're just gonna mix that really good. Um, and then what we're gonna do once that's all nicely done, well, of course, once that crust comes out of the oven, we're gonna go on and put that in the crust and move forward with putting the rest of that delicious crumble on top. And yeah, we're gonna go from there. And this is a really quick dessert, guys. Super quick. Make sure you're letting your um, raspberries stall overnight. Now, with that said, if you say, wait it to last minute, which I quite often do, what you can do is you can thaw them in the microwave. Yes, it works like a charm. It's wonderful. Use your microwave, guys, as a tool. So if you didn't have time, you wanna do it really quick in a microwave, you can certainly do that. Now the longest part with this is the draining of your raspberries. Just keep in mind, keep that in mind, and also you're gonna to have to let your bars set up so you can cut them. All right guys, we're back. And what we're doing now is we're gonna pop our pan out of the oven. There we go, we see it's nicely baked. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on and pop our raspberry filling on top there. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, sorry about that, hon. See, we all make mistakes. All right, and now what we're gonna do is we are gonna pop our raspberry filling on. Make sure you put it on there evenly, guys. As evenly as you possibly can. Um, you can spread it out with a spoon. Let me go in and get him a spoon right now from right here. Let's see, right here. And then you can use the back of your spoon to sort of smooth that out in there. And that looks good, babe. There we go. And you can just take your spoon and smooth that nicely. Looking good. And our crumble seems to have disappeared. Um, so we're gonna get that and bring it back over and we're gonna put that on top. Make sure you spread it as evenly as possible, guys. You don't wanna see crust through your raspberry. Okay, you want that nicely put on there. Matter of fact, give it a nice tap, guys. Okay, okay, hmm, there we go, there we go. Looks perfect, all right. Okay, I'm glad that hmm was one of those wise hmms when you haven't done a good enough job. It was, <laughs> yeah, I was trying to understand what was happening. Yeah, you know, uh, put that in there. Way to do it. All right, put that okay. in there, You're perfect. Good. You're my assistant, I'm not yours. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's uh, get going here, let's see. Looking good. So we're gonna put the rest of this on top, guys. No, we're not gonna use that spatula. We're gonna use our hand, because that is how we do it. Um, there we go. Looking good, look at you, all right. And you're just gonna sprinkle that around evenly. Um, it's gonna be so delicious. People are just gonna love it. I know I am. And yeah, we're just gonna put pop that on. Put it on as evenly as you possibly can, guys. Again, our oven is gonna be at 350. It is gonna bake for approximately 25 to 30 minutes. Again, check out the recipe, you'll be able to see it. And then you're gonna to have to let that set once it comes out. You're gonna to have to let it cool 
for several hours because you want your bars to set up nicely so you can actually cut them. You don't want your raspberries oozing out um, and guests to be like, huh, okay, she is an amateur. Um, so there we go, looking good. Or he. Or he, century. or he, guys. My dad was a fantastic baker. So, but my mom was better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest here, you know? My dad was a great cook. Right. So. Is this good enough? That looks great, babe. Yeah, all right. Put all of that on there, okay. please. all right, I'm sorry. I don't know what this man is doing right now. Put it all on there, yes, all right. Looks good. Okay, that looks good. There we go. And then what we're gonna do, we just take our hand. Don't be afraid to use your hands, guys. Just, there we go. Evenly put that on there and looks good. Pat it down a little bit. And let's take a little bit more of this. See, there we go. Looks good, guys. Perfect. And we're gonna pop this in the oven. There we go. Now we'll wait for that to bake. All right, guys, so up next, we're gonna do the classic lemon bars. Who doesn't like a lemon bar? So we're gonna have Joe going and get going with our crust first while our other bars are cooling. So we have flour. This is, again, a duck job, super easy. We're gonna do our flour. And this one is a little different because it is a shortbread crust. If you've ever made a lemon bar or had one, it is a wonderful short, um, shortbread crust with butter. So he went on and dumped his salt in. All right, that's he's dumping in his powdered sugar, not granulated sugar, powdered sugar, which I thought was very interesting. And then next, we're gonna dump in our butter. And then from here, what Joe is gonna do is the usual. He's gonna put it on the stand mixer. We're gonna mix that up for a bit. Perfect. Looking good. And then we already have our prepared pan right here. This is parchment paper. So let me tell you, I've made this this bar with paper that was not parchment, disaster. Don't be like me, guys. It's parchment paper. All you have to do is spray your 9 by 13 around the edges and then put your parchment paper in there and you're good to go. All right, perfect. So we're looking pretty good over here, Joe. All right. Stop that for a minute. You're going to scrape down the sides of that bowl. Make sure all that butter is nicely incorporated. And if you see, um, when you start making this, you'll see that everything is starting to come together, almost like a almost like a biscuit dough, almost like a pie dough. It looks very, very similar. Um, so it's gonna be a little crumbly, so just expect that, it's okay, that's normal. All right, you can go on and get ready to mix that. And you're gonna wanna make sure to scrape that down because definitely there'll be pockets of flour that didn't incorporate under there. So you can go on and turn that back on, Joseph. And this is a really nice, quick process. Again, this is a really great dessert to make if you want something quick, but it does need time to set up. And one of the tips I'm gonna give you guys today is if you want your bar to set up a little quicker, you can do one of two things. You can put it in the fridge or you can put it in your freezer and it sets up really, really quickly. And so you can get it cut a few hours quicker than it would be if you just did it at room temperature. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna go on and get ready to pop this into our pan. All right, looking good. And we're gonna- about half. That, uh, no, that is not the same. No, 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 you're jumping ahead. No, guys, what you do is, this literally is just a crust, so you're not gonna get a topping on a lemon bar. On a lemon bar, we're gonna dust it with powdered sugar. So no topping on that, just a delicious, chewy shortbread bottom, which is so good. All right, looking good. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure this is put in here evenly. He's gonna press it down with the back of the spoon. I'm gonna get another spoon, guys. Just gonna use that and go around there. It's better to use a spoon um, to me than a spatula. I mean, it's up to you, but I'd rather use this because you can get into the corners better. Perfect, looking good. Mash that down, guys, evenly. Make sure it's an even crust. All the way across, looking good. All right, and then you're gonna need to have your oven set at 350 degrees because we're gonna bake it for 20 minutes before we put in our filling, okay? Perfect. Make that a little bit more even, Joseph. Okay, hmm. Just keep in mind, you don't wanna see the bottom of your um, pan, and you also don't wanna see hills and valleys, which I'm currently seeing as my husband does this. So we need him to make this a nice, smooth asphalt landscape, not hills, guys. We're not looking for mountains. 
we're looking for smooth city streets. Keep that in mind. City All right. streets aren't that smooth. Okay, well these need to be smooth, okay? <laughs> the ideal city street, perfect. Uh -huh. All right, Joseph, we're gonna have you pop that one in the oven. Remember always we're using the middle rack. That's what we do. Perfect, so while that's baking, we're gonna move on to our lemon filling. All right, guys, well, we are back and we're gonna go in and make our delicious filling. So we're gonna go in and put our sugar in. So we're gonna do the sugar, the flour, and the lemon zest first. Um, and the reason why you wanna do that is because you wanna make sure that all of that is mixed nicely and that you don't end up having lumps um, in, your, in your batter. You can do it the way Joseph is doing it or you can simply put it on your stand mixer and mix it. So it's up to you. Okay, he took my hint, guys. Perfect. That's what you need to. That's what you need to do as well. That's Use your stand mixer. Smarter, not harder, guys. Learn to take hits. All right, Learn. perfect. So he's looking good. We're get got that mixing. Super easy. It's already looking really good. Um, zest is very important to any kind of recipe with lemons because zest really gives it a depth of flavor. Guys, don't use artificial lemon flavoring, please. It doesn't work. Don't use extract. Use your zest, use your lemon juice. It's okay if you use a really good quality lemon juice that's already squeezed, but mostly you're gonna wanna use fresh lemon juice if possible. All right, so this is looking good. So now what we're gonna go on and do is, we're gonna go in and add in our eggs. Um, now what Joe could have done, but he did not do is, he could have left it running on low and just added his eggs in. So why don't you put that back down, that head back down in there, my husband, and we're gonna put that on low. And we're gonna go in and add all of that in there. Perfect, looking good. All right, just pour it in. It's all good. Looks great, perfect. Add our eggs in, and then we're gonna add in our lemon juice as well. That's looking great, honey. Looks good. And so what's gonna happen is it's gonna get a nice light yellow color. And then while that's going, I think our crust is done. So I'm gonna go in and get that out of the oven. And then we're gonna pour that right into our crust. And we're gonna get it going. All right, perfect. Looking good, let's see. You're gonna wanna go in and give that a good scrape to make sure everything is incorporated from the bottom. Um, and then make sure all your eggs are fully incorporated as well. You don't want bits of egg whites and egg yolks that are, yolk, that are sort of floating around because what's gonna happen is it'll show up in your lemon bars and you don't want that. So that's looking good. He's mixing that now. Turn that speed up just a little bit more, Joseph. And we're gonna go on and get that going. Get that a nice, Turn that up a little, turn it up a little more. Perfect. I'm gonna let that mix for maybe about mm, a minute or two, guys, and get that good in mixing. Um, and then while that's going, um, we're gonna go in and put our things away. Um, once you come back, we're gonna pour that filling right on in here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour our delicious lemon filling into our crust. And as you can see, it's nice and smooth. There are no lumps and she looks beautiful and delicious. So we're gonna pour all of that in there and make sure to use our scraper and get all of that out. And that is gonna be perfect. All right. And guys, I wouldn't be mad if you actually use a little bit more parchment paper so it goes a little further up your sides. So when you take it out, it's super easy to grip that and pull it up out of there so your delicious lemon bars don't end up breaking. Okay, all right, looking good. Joseph, put that in our oven, 350 degrees for roughly 25 to 30 minutes, guys, until you don't have a lot of jiggle and wiggle in the center. All right, everybody, so we have our lemon bars out and cut. And we're gonna add a little bit of powdered sugar to the top like this, just to make them look nice and pretty. Look at that, gorgeous, yes. And now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna show you how to get this out of the pan properly because it can be a little bit tricky. Um, you don't wanna ruin your gorgeous bars that you made and have cooled and you're ready to eat. So Joe, why don't you show them how to do that? So what are you doing, Joe? 
Um, I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna make it so up. So guys, what we're doing is we are going around the edges with a sharp knife and we're just going around the edges like this, making sure to loosen this up so you don't end up destroying your gorgeous, delicious creation. So you're gonna go like that, go around all the sides really well. Simply go around, go around, go around. And you just wanna make sure it comes out. And I think this is good because as you can see, you can see the edge of this paper. This is our parchment paper. And then we're gonna get ready to flip it out. We put this on top so your crumble doesn't fall off. So you're gonna use one sheet pan and you're gonna up up end it, turn it over. Up end it, one, one big move. One big move. All right, let me get ready. Oh Lord. All right, looks good. All right, let's see how we look here. Okay. All right, looks good, guys. All right, we're gonna lift that, that's that parchment paper we used earlier. That's why it's so necessary. And now what we're gonna use is we're gonna use our other sheet pan and we're gonna flip it back over so it's right side up, okay? All right, looks good. Look at that, guys. All right, so now what we're gonna do, there we go, very good. We're going to give it some cuts. So what I'm gonna do is, you're gonna wanna use a, a fairly decently large knife to do this part. Let's see, oh, this is pretty good. Um, this is a little small, but larger is better. But this works as well. And so we're just gonna cut this like this. Look at that, so delicious. You see all that raspberry, guys? So delicious, all worth the effort. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that into some pieces for your gas. Put that here. See that? All right. There we go. And voila. We have our delicious raspberry bars that we baked and worked hard for. And hopefully your guests enjoy it. I know we're gonna enjoy it after the show. Thank you so much for watching today.